we are probably one of the last generations of Homo sapiens. Because in the coming generations, we will learn how to engineer bodies and brains and minds. Now, how exactly will the future masters of the planet look like? This will be decided by the people who own the data. Those who control the data control the future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself. Now, why is data so important? It's important because we've reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. You can really summarize 150 years of biological research since Charles Darwin in three words. Organisms are algorithms. Mm -hmm. And we are learning how to decipher these algorithms. The algorithm tracks your eye movements, your blood pressure, your brain activity, and tells you who you are. Once we have algorithms that can understand me better than I understand myself, they could predict my desires, manipulate my emotions, and even take decisions on my behalf. And if we are not careful, the outcome might be the rise of digital dictatorships. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. This will be not just the greatest revolution in the history of humanity. This will be the greatest revolution in biology since the very beginning of life four billion years ago. All of life for four billion years was subject to the laws of natural selection and to the laws of organic biochemistry. But this is now about to change. We are entering the era of inorganic life shaped by intelligent design. This is why the ownership of data is so important. If we don't regulate it, a tiny elite may come to control not just the future of human societies, but the shape of life forms in the future. So does the data about my DNA, my brain, my body, my life, does it belong to me or to some corporation? or to the government, or perhaps to the human collective. So who should own the data? I frankly don't know. We had better call upon our scientists, our philosophers, our lawyers, and even our poets to turn their attention to this big question. The future, not just of humanity, but the future of life itself may depend on the answer to this question.